Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to the post game of what's it called? Land of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. So, the Seven Heroes won, and the world crisis is averted. But there's still a problem remaining. Just why can't we return to our original worlds? That's right, the space-time gate just disappeared like that. <clears throat> and since it did, our guests from these other worlds are unable to return. If we defeated the Lord of the Lord of Dreams, we were told that we would be able to return to our original worlds. Well, in the end, it seems like that was another story made up by the White Rabbit. Well, the White Rabbit that was actually Datsuko transformed. We know that the magic accumulation room thing was a, was a lie as well. So it seems that, after all, the returning to our original worlds was a lie too. Even if by force, could we open the gate? As of now, we don't have a way to. And the White Rabbit isn't the type of person to show up when you call her. Anyway, right now, our world is faced with a destruction. If we can solve that, maybe we can find a good, a good choice in that way. In that case, let's fight together. And let's, until this time, we, there is a time that we can return to our world. Nothing to do but that. Everyone in the Bureau, they're probably getting angry at how late I am returning. So he works in a bureau or something. Well, sorry, but I'll be taking for a while yet. I'll continue relying on you guys. And this world's Lampus and Mukara also need places where they can rest. Or calm down, rather. So, the other world guests are now properly our companions. But there's one more big problem, isn't there? If all of you can't return to your original worlds, then the Alliance as well. We can't think that the members of the Alliance were able to return return to their original worlds either. And perhaps even Est herself still remains in this world? Well, it looks like the problem, the original problem that we were facing in this particular instance is gone now. But, before they cause any more disasters, we should go out and suppress the members of the Alliance. Get out of my castle. You have never been invited in my castle. Okay. 
it's saying I was thinking this might happen and I've been and gathered information from all corners of the world come and speak to me yeah I like that's gonna happen as expected of Amira it's reliable so counting on her information its information Let's chase down the members of the Alliance. Now that you mention it, what's happened to Daimyomi and Gilgorn? It doesn't seem like they're here. Daimyomi disappeared after the battle. It would be nice if she's not planning something untoward <laughs> Gilgorn said that she would return to Tu Romansa is that is that castle still connected to this world well we can't leave those two alone either Particularly Gilgorn. She's way too big to be left to her own devices. Left to run wild. So there's those two, as well as the Alliance. So we need to find them all and get them under observation. Under watch. Yeah. So let's go ahead and immediately hear the information from Amila and chase down the members of the Alliance. So it's still busy work to be done. Well, everything seems to be in order. She's still human. I feel like they're, I'm forgetting something. But, well, first of all, you can return to two romance by going to Grand Noah here, but we've got, but we aren't actually able to recruit Gilgorn if we go there. So we're gonna sit, put that aside for later. Instead, we can go somewhere where we can recruit someone. So even without Amira being in your party, if you stumble upon a place where one of the one of the Alliance or our erstwhile allies are, it'll pop up and tell you. It's said that Datsko was sighted in this village. Let's hurry and head to the village chief to to hear what he has to say. Datsko. Are you plotting something again? The reason I came to... Oh yeah! Okay. Because of that final battle with Esmorun, Luca's equipment is all messed up. That's more like it. So the reason I came here was I remembered there being a town here in the scenario and now it's gone again. So I decided to come to Yamatai instead and that's how I found the first one. Probably I'll just randomly go in villages around the world until I think I've run out of places to check. And hopefully that will be enough because I don't want to recruit Amila. Oh, you have come. The one called Datsuko was sighted in the in the Fox Shrine. Her appearance was just as the wanted posters from Grand Noah said showed. A purple fox. From what I've heard, she's a terribly 
She's a very terrible, a very frightful Yoma. So, please, eliminate her for us. Yeah, leave it to us. The Fox Shrine. Let's go there immediately. This is the Fox Shrine, huh? We heard that Datsuko was sighted here, but... We can't see her anywhere now. Let's hear what everybody in the vicinity has to say. Come on, come on. But it's not unusual for foxes to talk around here. Just not these foxes. The one who is called Datsuko has hidden herself away in this shrine. They say. But it's certain that she's not inside of this building. Okay, great. See, here's the talking fox. That's cool. Hmm, I've never seen her. Simple as that. Now, I want to talk to her, but I want her to move down first. For a good reason. I'm not going to tell you what my good reason is, but trust me, it's a good reason. Come on. I think one more tile will do. Actually, this should do. Ah, oh, sorry. That took a little longer than expected. This shrine is nice, isn't it? Just, you can just hang around lying around and they give you food. You're one of the foxes from Mahoroba Mountain, aren't you? So, their... Their habitat has gone has come this far. By the way, have you seen Datsuko? She's a purple-colored nine-tailed fox. Yeah, I did see that before. Isn't she still around somewhere? What you say? Where is she? So we look around a bit hastily, but we don't see Datsuko's appearance anywhere. Huh? She was here until just now. Certainly, she's changed into something. Let's search the area to see if we don't find something suspicious. Something suspicious, huh? It's a fox statue. Perfectly normal like all fox statues. Except Byakunin thinks otherwise. Huh? This statue is... What is it, Byakunin? Did you find something? It's just bugging me. Yay! So, Byakunin steps on the tail of the fox statue. Mugia! Yeah, when you step on the fox tail statue, they go Mugia! And it seems the fox statue's true identity was Datsuko. She's learned some new tricks. A new trick. Honestly, if you're going to be learning tricks at your age, you should pick better tricks. Damn you. 
Such an impudent child. Do you not know any respect for the Inari? Inari is one of those old gods in Japanese mythology related to foxes and such. I, I, I'm sorry, but this is what I noticed. <laughs> well done, Byakunen. That's cool. So you were hidden away here. Hmm, hidden away, you say? I, from the start, wasn't running or hiding. And now that I don't have any reason to attack you folk, I'm doing nothing more than touring the world at my leisure. I thought that I would quietly wait until you guys left. Meanwhile, occasionally snatching up a village, village man to eat. But if you've deliberately come before me, then if I pick and eat you, you don't have a problem with it, right? I won't let, we won't let you so ruin in this world any longer. Let's go, Datsuko. Huh, I'll get you back this time. Now, fully taste my power. <laughs> you my honest opinion, I think she's gotten weaker. But here we are. Fluffy tail. Damn it, such impudent behavior. Now that it's come to this, my true power. Knock it off, Datsuko. I don't want to see you do that kind of third rate move. Something from their past, I guess. And you, from the very beginning, didn't have any reason to act violently here. Didn't have any intention to act violently here, did you? I mean, if you had, it makes no... There's no explaining why you were hiding. You don't particularly... You're not particularly fond of fighting. You just pursue your highest desires. That's the kind of demon you were. Hmm. Men like you are... Yeah. Men like you are... Persistently saying irritating things. But it's true that I already don't have any plans. In the fight before, I was just fighting away imminent threats. So that's why you attacked us, huh? Oh, whatever. It looks like you don't plan to start anything in this world anymore. But even saying that, we don't, we can't let a existence such as yourself roam unchecked. Jeez, you have no faith in me. From all the way back, from quite a long time ago, you've been fooling people left and right. How are we supposed to trust you? Anyway, Datsuko, you're coming with us. 
we didn't come here after all to eliminate you anyway. And also in order for us and for me and the other heroes to find a way to return to our original worlds, we'd like you to lend us your power. I really don't like being looked down upon, but I'll allow it. And it's, it will be entertaining to walk alongside the children of men again. It's been a long time. So I'll come along with you and taste all this world has to offer. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So Datsuko's joined our companions. By the way, Datsuko, the one who gave the plans for Mukuro, the one who brought the plans for Mukuro to this world was you, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was truly I. No time at all after I'd come to this world. One of the Black Alice people approached me. Black Alice. So she's been reaching her hands towards even the Alliance. I came to this world with various goods in order to use for bargaining or in order to get my hands on souvenirs. That's what I was thinking to do. And they too said they would give me something, but I suppose she's just talking about Kage Tsumugi. Anyway, as soon as they laid eyes upon the plans, Her eyes change color. I well, oh, there, I looked up a good explanation for what that means, but it slipped my mind now. And then you gave the plans to Kagetsumugi, huh? In exchange, I got information about this world. With that, I changed into the White Rabbit and snuck around in that way. I see. I understand how it went then. Jeez, you do such troublesome things. And thanks to that, it came to be that Kagetsumugi mass produced so many Mukuros. Although we're still not convinced of why she did it in the first place. Hey! Why don't we go report to the village chief? He seemed really worried, after all. Yeah, we probably should do that. Let's report to the village chief that everything's alright. Since we've caught Datsuko, there's nothing to be afraid of now. So, let's go tell the village chief. You know, if anybody knew about how, why we weren't able to get back to our original worlds, it should be Datsuko. But apparently she's got nothing to say about that. 
That's the village chief. The village chief is outside, gazing at the river, it seems. So he headed that way. Let's report the Datsko incident to him. I was just taking a little time to gaze upon the river as it flows through. So then, did you eliminate the great fox monster? Yes, we've captured her properly. What an impudent thing to say. I don't recall being eliminated at all. Hey, don't complicate it. Just be quiet for us, okay? So, the threat is gone. That's good. I am only praying for the peace of this village. The river is shining. And then, uh, this is... Just what is this? There we go. Bleh! This thing is called Ama Beer. I guess. Oh, it's... It's Ama Beer, isn't it? There's a title there, but... Can't really translate it into English easily, because I don't know what this thing is. Anyway. Oh, this is rare. If an epidemic is sweeping through the land, then draw my image and spread it to as many people as possible. Uh-huh. Right now the world is faced with destruction. As if it were an epidemic. People's unease is... People's unease is rising. In that case, it's too late to do for for pictures merely to suffice. Take me along with you to the suffering people. Uh Huh? And there's one in the river and one behind us. But don't really care about that. To be able to go along with Ama Amabie. You guys are pretty accomplished, are we now? To think I'd be able to see Amabia with my own eyes. It's a sight to see. Is this really such a great monster to have around? Oh, it's Amabia. It's been a long time. It's been several years, hasn't it, Amira? You seem lively, and that's good. You're one of the abominations! Yep. Normally, I think you need to recruit Amira before recruiting abominations, but this one's a except an exception. Anyway, with this, the incident is taken care of. Let's chase after the rest of the Alliance. Okay, then. But first things first. Let's rid our party of demonic influence. Goodbye. Honestly, I think I'll eventually end up hacking the game in order to end that event without recruiting that thing. But for now, 
We've recruited Datsko, and next time we're going to find someone else to recruit. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.